Steven? It's Sam. If you truly are my husband, Stephen, I open myself to you. Steven, remember? We got this mask in Cabo, and we got into that fight because I said it was hideous. Stephen, if this is you, move the mask. Move the mask. Move the damn mask! Are you? I'm five minutes out. Did you do the page? I did. It was wrong. It was all wrong. Why won't you believe me? Okay, stop it. Just stop it. You need to be sure. Remember what I said before? How would you know if it was lying? You open yourself up this much, you have got to know what it is. Please don't do anything. It's Steven. I'll prove it. God. Okay, but don't do a thing till I... Steven, I'm here for you. I feel your presence. You're not Steven.
You're coming with me. Do you hear me? Samantha, you're coming with me. Here's your gloves. Here. Here. Here! What are these for? Did someone say you could talk? Pledge? Put them on. Sit down. I just don't get what we're doing here. <sighs> it's all a part of your initiation. Right, guys? Yeah! Flashlights. <laughs> it was one year ago, tonight. Shut the hell up, guys. It was exactly one year ago, tonight, that Samantha Harris leapt to her death from the banister of 825 Veranda Place. Since then, the house and all of its contents have become property of the bank. Until now. Sigma Beta Pi has been told that Samantha's late husband, who died exactly two years ago today, collected a lot of weird shit. Your guys' job is to go inside and get one of the late Mr. Harris's freaky trinkets. A little trophy for your Sigma bros. <laughs> Wait, you want us to break in and- Silence, maggot! Don't look at me. Nobody's breaking in. Here's the code to the lockbox. How did you- Do not question your pledge master. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and be sure to put the key back in the lockbox. What are you waiting for, ladies? Get your asses in there! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Hey, hurry! We don't got all night. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Bubbles. <laughs> What are you doing? Leave that open. I'll let the whole block know that somebody's in here. Seriously? They're just trying to freak us out. Just use your cell phone. Get in here. Come on, let's grab some piece of junk and get the hell out of here. Well, freaky shit for sure.
Get out of my What's for dinner? Mom's experimenting again. <laughs> We're gonna need salt. Kat, you staying for dinner? I'm here for the week, Mom and Dad. Ah, that's right, this is cruise week. Hey, Sarah, make a place for your bestie. Bestie? She's my bestie, too. Look, Kat, you're even in this month's family photo. Dun, 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 dun. That is disgusting. This, I'll have you know, is Norwegian tofu marsala. It looks like roadkill. <laughs> Can I just have pizza? Eat it. Eat it. You eat it. Okay, I will. Mmm. Mmm. Heated, of course. Heathens. Try not to screw that one up, Mom. <laughs> Funny. I can't believe you guys eat your pizza cold. You're just like Norm. No, we're not. We're not anything like that. That asshole. OK, OK, I'm sorry. It's been a long year, Sam. It's gotten worse. I hope you're at peace. And I'm not. I need to figure this out before they level this place. I'm done. Whoa, 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 wait! Sit down. Tell me something about your day. Ugh. One thing. Okay, today we had a stupid pop quiz in chemistry, and I nailed it. You too, Kat. Let a student protest. Against? Unhealthy school lunches. Okay, okay, Sarah. Today I found a dead lizard and... Here you go. God, Sarah, are you obsessed with death or something? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, put it in this pizza box. You can bury it later. The thousand other dead things you've collected. Shut up, Amanda. Okay, okay, my turn to tell about my day. I found out the bank is finally tearing down the abandoned Harris house. What? Yeah, I hear they're going to build a nice new home, and that should really raise the value of our place. When? I think bulldozers roll as soon as tomorrow. Uh, I got to go. I've got homework. Why is everything paranormal to you? Spiritual. And I'm just asking, has anything around the house moved, like, by itself? No. Well, maybe, I don't know. You may have a visitant, a third order spirit of the sixth or seventh class. You want me to come over? 
What, so you can freak me out some more? No, thank you. Love you. Love you more. Sixth class of the third order. Sarah. Mom. What? You are so oblivious. Where's Sarah? Probably snuck out again. What? Mom, I thought you knew. It's not like she's been hiding all of that stuff in her room. You need to go get her out of there before she gets into trouble or something. Where? There's how. Okay, I'm coming right over. But uh, first, here's what you need to do. Go into that carpet bag and grab a baggie of white sage. And while I'm on my way, you're gonna have to do a little smudging. Smudging? Yeah, it's like what you do with incense sticks. You, know, you just put all the leaves in a bowl and you light it and then give your place a good smoke cleansing. Oh, and it may bang around a little, kind of like a temper tantrum, but that's a good thing. It means it's working. Take your daughter and leave. See that she stays away. Anyways, you don't know that. Miss Leslie, it's it's Norm. What part of restraining order don't you get? Sarah. No, Amanda. And Sarah's calling the cops right now. Bye. Tool. Amanda, please. You never answer it. That just provokes him. Oh. We're sorry, Mom. Not really, though. All right, you guys. I'm gonna take a little nap and try to sleep off whatever this is. Shit. Hey, Miss Patty. Hi, Amanda. Girls, have any of you seen Mr. Dinkles? He didn't come home for supper. Nope, haven't seen any cats lately. Definitely not. I'll go look for him. Me too, bye. Amanda. Make sure your sister stays away from that house. That kitty's going back on the leash. <sighs> Come on in, Miss Patty. Oh, my. Are you all right? Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just a little nosebleed. I can see that. You're leaking a little bit. Oh, damn. Oh, Leslie. I'm OK, Miss Patty. You don't have to hold my arm. What's that, dear? <sighs> you know what, darling? We're gonna get you to bed. <sighs> Ask me, this is all about 
house dress. Deadbeat ex-husband who flew the coop. Creepy stalker boyfriend who won't fly the coop. Teenage girl. We know all about that, don't we? We used to be teenage girls once, weren't we? That was a long time ago. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know, I still have my high school pom-poms in a box somewhere. Oh, you poor thing. Get some rest. Hey, Miss Patty, we found your cat. Mr. Dinkle. Yeah, we found your cat. Where is it? Where is it? Well, that was weird. What's going on? You were having a nightmare. Oh, honey. You know I never remember my dreams. Did you find Mr. Deekles? Yeah. Cat and Sarah. Cat's here. Sarah's in her room. Mom, she's in her room. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I've already called the cops. You're messing with the wrong guy, lady. Yes, officer. He's standing in their front yard right now. You'll pay for this bitch. Yes, sir. That's him threatening me. That's right, Norman Becker. With a P, not a P. Would you like his license number? Watch this. Watch this. You need to get rid of these. No, listen. Isn't that cool? He's saying your name. That is creepy, Sarah. Um, it's one of those toys that you talk into and it records your voice. I don't know how you did that. But it is cool and creepy. Anyone for some ice cream? Cat, ice cream. Cat. Sarah, come get some dessert. Here's some stuff from the Harris house I don't want. Do you have to return everything, brat? You don't get to decide. Don't clutter the counter. Put that stuff in my purse. I'll go through it later. Mom, you're not going to let her keep This place is haunted, you know. Toys off the table, please. Shut up, little girl. You're such a freak. It is haunted. I'll prove it to you. Settle down. Nothing's haunted. No one is a freak. Aren't you guys related to the Salem witches or something? Yeah. No, we're just related to you. Poor peanut farmers from Georgia. <laughs> Mom, so that's why you can't find a real boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm pretty. Can I have a bear, Mama? I got your cigarettes. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Mom, now don't get mad. Let me put this up there. He's moving. Honey, I think that's a resin figure. They don't move. Oh, it moves. Watch. I got nothing. Oh, I know. They all like to say mom's name, so Leslie, concentrate really hard on this and watch it win. Seriously? Okay, I'm gonna give it my all. Okay, ghost. Let's move this thing. It's 
Sorry, honey. Tomorrow, I'm gonna call a plumber and whoever else. Come on, let's go. Hey, um, Miss Leslie, your bedroom is freezing cold. This is weird. Let's just go to bed. I'm sure it's just the pipes. Or a squirrel in the wall. Girls, let's go on back to bed. Seriously, we're here to help. Um, you need us for work? <laughs> okay, just for tonight, oh, till I get the plumbing fixed. And the air conditioning. And gotta fix the shower. Mm, that's still a plumber, sweetie. doing? Who is it? My mom, standing in the hall trying to freak us out. Okay. Hello? Are you here for the plumbing, the air conditioning, or pest control? Yes! Pest control too? Absolutely. We do uh, phone and Wi-Fi as well. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is your cable out? Uh, no, internet's fine. Um, Amanda, if you could show the plumber. Jose. Jose uh, to the master bathroom. And Kat, can you show? Jose B. <laughs> I'm messing with you. That's a little plumber humor. That's Mike. Mike, uh, upstairs to the air conditioner. Oh, I'm Marco. Leslie. Great. Um, if you could show me where the... Uh... Sounds on the wall. Over here. Great. Now, those sounds are probably just burglars. I don't think so. Well, we do home security as well. Really? Oh, yeah. We'll check your smoke detectors, too. Really? Oh, yeah. You need a DJ? We do birthday parties, quinceañeras, funerals, whatever you need. Really? Really? That's it. Careful, uh, don't, it's gonna shoot out. It, uh, this is the cold water. I know, but. The... This is the hot water. And it's heating up slowly. That's normal. Mom! Filter looks fine. Thermometer looks correct. 
nice and cool now. The whole house was very hot, like a sauna, except Miss Leslie's room. That, that's weird. Some would say creepy. Let's go see the master bed. Back downstairs. I'll be right there. Here. It was right about here where we heard the sounds. Here. Okay. Grab my audio 2000. Uh -huh. Works like a charm. Yeah, no. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> we all heard it. Well, where did the sound originate? Ah! Okay. Come in, girl. What are they? Tell them, Mom. What is it? We got nothing. No hot water. No ghosts? No what? Nothing. Well, I did find a bit of buildup in your trap. Huh? The U pipe. Ew, Mom. That's not me. Amanda, why don't you go upstairs and check on Mr. Marco? These pipes were fine yesterday. It's like we've been pranked or something. Is that skin on the end of the hair? Yeah, that is definitely a piece of somebody's scalp. Like someone's hair was ripped right out of their head. Upstairs. Bedroom looks fine. And the closet seems okay. Oh. Oh. Electrical surge? Marco! You messing with the printer? No! See if you can find band-aids in the guest bathroom. Wait, wait! Hold on. Thank you for letting us stay here again on such short notice. I mean, I didn't know what else to do. So freaky. The whole place just started falling apart around us. It's haunted. A lady named Samantha. Anyway, Victor, I can't thank you enough. I hate so much to impose, 
but until I can figure out what's going on with that house. Oh, honey, please. Ziggy and Molly and I love having you here. Don't we? Mm. I just wish you'd visit us when it's not an emergency. The last time you were here was uh, over a year ago when you tried to break up with your cretin of a so-called boyfriend. I still can't believe I ever let him move in. What was I thinking? Oh, Mom, please. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Amanda. I'm just saying. It was temporary insanity or something. That Norm guy sounds like a classic abuser. Coercive, reprobate, libertine. What's libertine? Look it up, child. But if it wasn't for that beast of a would-be stepdaddy, I would never have represented your mother for that restraining order. And Victor wouldn't have, in turn, hired me. Best paralegal ever! I'd better text my parents I'm staying at Mr. Victor's now. Who, Kat, I think I better do that. Leslie, darling, here's my computer. I left the house in such a rush. I left my laptop, my clothes, my everything. Use mine, work in the breakfast note. You know my password. <laughs> Oh, the files I'd like you to look at are right here. It's another store for boyfriend case. No problem. Ah, but this time we need to do a little bit more research on death by erotic asphyxiation. What's rotted fixation? Ooh, more words to look up. Ah, thank you, my dear. Now, there are extra T-shirts, dashikis and whatnots in the dryer that you can all wear around the house, and pillows, towels, blankets, and the... You know where everything is. Mom! Can I sleep in the hookup room? It's a hookah room, and no, you and all the girls are gonna sleep in the guest room. Thanks again for letting us stay. No more thank yous. You're making me blush. Mr. Victor's going to visit his mother. And Zig and Ma are off to the doggy spa. Are you sure? We would love to have them. Nonsense. It's all been books. Besides, the boys love it there. You know, my mama Rosie will be 98 next week. That is wonderful. Is she still feisty? Huh. You know I'm taking her on a cruise. All she wants me to do is to set her up with some of the stewards. Well, I told her, get in line, girl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but we have fun. But I miss my pups. Where am I? Molly, Ziggy, what's coming into you? This comfy chair is a good idea. We're fine. Please tell Rosie you love Winnie. Well, I'm off to see Mommy Dearest. Girls, look after your mom. I'll see you in a few days. Come on, my little rasters. Let's give these ladies some rest. Ziggy, Molly, come on, let's go. Children? <laughs> Where's Amanda? Next door, Cat's house. You stupid idiot! <laughs> what are you doing to my mom? <laughs> Get away from her! Oh my God, 
That was too much. Why are you dressed for bed? Mom, I think it's happening again. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Miss Leslie, watch this, watch this. This is so crazy. We're not doing this, I promise. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> da -na -na -na. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. There's an obvious explanation for this. Man, help me out of my chair. Here, use a clean tissue and hold it there. I think the bleeding stopped, but just hold it there. I'm gonna see if there's a walk-in clinic close by. Um, I'm fine. Probably just got the same bug as you. Girls your age don't just get nosebleeds. Uh, yeah, they do. No, well, I think they just Shut up and just listen to me! I'm sorry, Mommy. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Maybe we all just need a good night's rest. Can we all sleep together again? You three can. I've got some work to do for Victor. You guys can use the guest room. Okay. Come on, let's go. What the? They moved out. Where are they? I don't know. Stop! I'll call the police again. Ah! Not this time. I didn't much care for their visit this morning. Now, one more time. Where are they? Gay boy boss man's again, huh? I honestly don't know! Ah! dreaming oh god there was a man standing at the edge of the bed talking to me he, he was trying to convince me he was somebody else I, I didn't believe him he got angry and I dreamt that he he bit me yeah who's Adam how do you know about are you reading my text you little creep Kat, sweetie, what are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. Oh, me neither. Is Amanda still sleeping? No. Where is she? <sighs> Amanda?
check the laundry room in the garage. Look outside for your sister. Go! Amanda? 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 You okay? Fine. You found her. Gross. What's that smell? Oh, Sarah. Cat, both of you, wait in the family room, okay? Let's go. Here's a towel. I'll look for some Epsom salts or something. I think I had too many egg rolls. You were sleepwalking, baby. Not for the first time. I once found you asleep on the front porch. Damn, Victor, all you have are loofahs, candles, and bubble bath. Well, use this. When you get dressed, we're going to the clinic. Mom, please, don't overreact. What if you have a virus? He doesn't even have aspirin here. Mom, please, I'm not in any real pain, and I don't even have a fever. You don't know that. Listen, will you be OK here for a few minutes while we're at the drugstore to get a few things, like a thermometer? I'll be right back, OK? Of course. Amanda okay? Yeah, I think so. Smelled. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna zip over to the drugstore. Be back in a few. Mom! Buy me some gum. <sighs> yes, gum please. Watch Amanda. Amanda? Excuse me. Can I help you? Look, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to scare you like this. I didn't mean to. I just need you to hold my hand. Just hold my hand just for a second. You're the woman from the Harris house. Are you OK? Yeah. It, it's all my fault. I'm ready to take it back. I just need you to hold my hand. It's OK. Look, you're in no shape to drive, and I'd be happy to drive you to see- Just hold my hand! Oh my god. Did you pass it on to one of your daughters? I don't know what you mean. Amanda.
You know, this all sounds ridiculous. I know. I know. It's all my fault. I've just been a better friend, gotten to Samantha earlier. Samantha Harris? I don't understand. She was my best friend on Earth. But how could you have known she was going to kill herself? What? Suicide? That's what everybody thinks, I know. But no. Sam didn't kill herself. It killed her. I know it. She was dying, and it leapt to me. And I fought against it. It punished me. One time I knocked it out of my body, but it just leapt back in. Out of its host, it can't last long. Oh, my God. That's when I knew that this spirit was connected to me wherever I went. I avoided contact with other people. Wore gloves 24-7 as it apparently transfers through hand-to-hand -hand contact. And I kept returning to the house because I felt something about it could give me an answer. But it did not like what I was doing. If you fight it, don't give it what it wants. It gets violent. it leapt from Samantha to you, and then from you to me? And now it must have moved on to your daughter. That's just crazy. What is going on? Someone's in the bathroom attacking Amanda. Amanda! Okay, together, ready? One, two, three. Thanks for staying with her, Kat. You're a good friend. Besties. Here you go. Thanks. I still think we should call the police or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I've been a student of this for a long time, and as much as people are intrigued, they have low tolerance for truly believing. You show the police your kid with bruises all over her and no logical explanation, you'll have DCF all over you. DCF? DCF? Don't call the police. It's okay, honey. It's okay. This is crazy. She seems a little better. She's got a little color back in her cheeks. Well, that reminds me. The least I can do is take her temperature. Okay, but don't touch her. Here, use this. This is ridiculous. Humor me. Fine. Where'd you get this? Oh, I don't know. I think Sarah gave it to me. Why? Because I have one just like it. I remember because it seemed weird at the time. This lady gave it to me at Sam's funeral, and I actually added her to my phone. She seemed strange, though. Later, she stood next to me at the gravesite. Sorry, did, did you know her well? Yes, very. You? Not at all. I only met her once. The very day she died, she, uh, she read my fortune. My fortune. She saved my life. She deserved better, you know? Oh, you got a, some, Thanks. Oh, my God. It's not like you're sitting in a graveyard or something. Well, a phantom or wraith probably just attached itself to you. Wait, you didn't purposely invite any spirits, did you? Well, there was this lady today, and I helped her release a supposed entity that supposedly was haunting her. What? 
It was her. This Lee person gave it to Sam at a stupid carny seance. Sam didn't even believe in any of this. A gig's a gig, she'd say. 99. Excuse me, I'm gonna leave a voice message. Yes, this is Maya Thompson. I'd like to make an appointment with Miss Lee Barnes as soon as possible uh, regarding a, a home sale at 1010 Street. Mm. Mm, I need a shower. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Wow, I haven't been sleeping this well since. Hey, I managed to get an appointment with Miss Lee Barnes. Should be here anytime now. Wait, hold on. If this, this it of yours really is a like leaping virus kind of thing, then all I have to do is hold her hand. Please don't do that. You did it to me. I think it's just a first degree burn. Do you have any sunburn lotion or anything? No, oh, doubtful. I've searched the cabinets. There's plenty of bath beads and soap, but not much of anything else. I'll be okay. And Amanda's hand is fine. But how? Whatever this thing is, it chooses whether or not to transfer. It's selfish, the ultimate control freak. It uses its host for its own purposes. The more innocent and easily manipulated, the better. We have got to get that thing out of my child. We will. Now, the best way to do that is to figure out what the hell we're dealing with. How do we do that? Look, I'm working on it. Do you have a computer I could borrow? Sure. Well, Victor's. Well, let's see what we can do. Well, that will be Miss Lee Barnes. This should be interesting. Miss Barnes? Yes. You requested a real estate agent for the sale of your home? Come in. What? Hi. Remember me? I don't think so. What's going on? Samantha Harris's funeral, almost exactly a year ago. You helped me? I don't understand. No, we don't understand. And you're gonna help us out. I'm sorry, how's your daughter? I really don't know. Miss Barnes, you need to tell us what you know. You were one of the last people to see Samantha alive. You told me so yourself. I think you were infected, like me. Samantha was an actress. She played a fortune teller at Old Time Fun Town. It was a cruel coincidence, or, or it led me to her, I don't know. Samantha, your friend. Please have a seat. Lee. Lee Carter Barnes, Barnes Realty. You just have to help me. You no longer have to torment this member of the living. Please find your way home. Please find your way home. <laughs> Sorry, but that thing will badger, harass, threaten, and harm you until you bend to its will. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. I know it's evil. Miss Parnes, that young lady, your friend, found out that it was me. That I was to blame. Come on, Lee. It's obviously been a very hard year for you. You've had trouble dealing with this. Why else would you come see a fortune teller today? Feeling guilty on the anniversary of my husband's death. Oh my God, you're the fortune teller. Miss Barnes? Miss Barnes? Lee? Stay with us, Lee. It's not your fault. Now, where did you first encounter the spirit? Through your friend's husband. What? Samantha was married to a man, Stephen who was in a terrible car accident. I saw his car plow into that tree. 
I called the police, but I, I knew he was dying, so I went to comfort him. And that's when it happened. I didn't know what was going on, but I do now. Thank you for the coffee. Lee, please help us. What I know is that Stephen was on his way home from a trip to Louisiana. Stephen would go to the New Orleans Art Festival every year and always brought something creepy back. He loved going there because his hobby was collecting oddities. The weirder the better. Like scary masks? How'd you know that? I don't know. I, I, I seem to recall he had one in his car that night. I, I saw it on the floorboards. It seems strange, but with everything else, it was... Wait. Sam showed me that thing. It's a 19th century death mask. It was part of Stephen's, what do you call it, personal effects that the police turned over to her. It's gotta be why I felt the need to keep coming back to the house. It's to find the death mask. Yeah. Let's see, death masks. See? Death masks are plaster casts of the deceased kept as mementos or references for a painting or for making a bust. I thought people did that when they were alive. Yeah, sometimes, which is why those are called life masks. But most were done after they died. You can tell they're dead by how sunken their eyes are, how gaping the mouth is, or how much hair remains in the plaster after it was pulled off the person's face. That is horrific. What's horrific? Sarah, this is not appropriate for you. Please, have you seen the movies you let me watch? Sometimes they shaved off the deceased hair and added it to the mask. Mm. Okay, can I check on Amanda? That's a good idea. Wait, no, 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 do not touch her. She's very contagious. Go on back to the guest room and get some more sleep. Maybe we need an exorcism? <laughs> Hell no. Sorry, but this has got nothing to do with religion, really. No, this is a spirit that attaches itself to you like a leech and wants to control and manipulate you. I know the type. Geez, I freed myself from one and in comes another. I really think the answer is in the mask. I, I don't understand. Amanda, think about it. When you do a seance, it's much more effective if you have the deceased's ashes or hairbrush rather than a favorite brooch or toy. You need that connection, that DNA. So how much more powerful will that tether between the living and the dead be? With a mask that has sweat and skin cells and hair and mucus? Okay, okay, we get it. Sorry, but all these threads keep leading us back to that mask. I don't suppose you know where the mask is. Probably in Sarah's room on the level of the Okay, I've got your number. Thanks for dropping me back at the pharmacy. Are you okay to drive to my house from there? Yeah, I'm feeling much better. The door may already be open, but that key opens the front and the back. The mask is somewhere in Sarah's room. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. Girls, gloves. Anytime you're near Sarah. I'll call you. Good. Maya, Lee, thank you. Sorry to bring you into this nightmare. I'll be back with a boatload of sage and a friend I think can help.
kids. Beat it! Thanks for coming with me. Don't thank me. I'm just trying to do the right thing, I guess. I didn't think you should go it alone. It's not the house that's the problem. You know that. Like we should have brought a flashlight. Wonder which room Sarah's is. Psst. Sarah, was that you? You coming with me, little girl? Maybe I'll come back later for that sister of yours. Huh? That slut mom can go straight down. <laughs> The sun's going down, but oh, this should help. No. Wow, that's creepy. Where's Sarah? This isn't just a death mask. This is somebody famous or infamous. Look up S.K. Duffy. Actually, look up Child Bride Killer. That's what he was known as. Yes, S.K. Duffy. Executed at Louisiana State Penitentiary, May 17th, 1889, a deviant and bigamist with a penchant for child brides who he abused mentally and physically, often biting his victims as a means to violently control and punish them. Mom. 
Sarah? Sarah, I'm gonna come out now to help you. I'm gonna open the door, okay? To help you. I want to, but it'll make me kill you too. Oh Lord, this man was a monster. It took authorities years to figure out what the doctor was up to. Most of his victims were runaways or transients women and girls who happened into his free medical clinic. He would take in and heal a grateful homeless female, then totally control her. He'd quickly declare her his wife and would even perform a bizarre wedding ceremony in his home. He'd have each bride look and dress exactly the same. As far as most folks knew, it was the same person. If a man happened to show interest in one of Duffy's wives, the jealous psychopath would find a way to eliminate the suitor. Quite often, he'd have new bride slaves clean up the blood and grit left from the last victim before it was her turn to die. It's estimated the child bride killer must have murdered over two dozen young girls in his house of horrors. Can you do me another favor? Of course, I want to help you take this bastard down. Good, I need to pick up a friend that might help. Can you head to Leslie's? I'll be right behind you. What's the plan? I don't know. I'm hoping Griffin will know what to do. Griffin? Calling Griffin Urbanski. Yeah? I'll be there in two minutes. You have everything? Uh, yeah. Uh, swing around back and pick me up. in there with her? No, that's her voice. She's definitely having a conversation. Call Leslie.
did I do? It's okay, I'm glad you're here. My and her friend will be here as soon as they can. <laughs> My baby girl. Mom, we've got to do something with her until- I know, I know. That looks like a dead body. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Go check the garage. Get something we can brace this door with. You're gonna lock her in the pantry? Till we get help, we can't let Sarah out. She'll hurt herself. Come on, I'll help you. It's okay, sweet thing. We'll get you fixed just as soon as we can. <laughs> Where's the light switch? I don't know. I don't live here. Okay. I can't see a thing. Listen, Amanda, we're gonna get through this. Maya and I discovered some more about this what you call it, visiting, and she's bringing some help. They should be here any second. Found it. They're here. Hey, guys. This is Griffin. Yeah. Use this for the pantry. Oh, my God. This way. Is that a real dead body? I'm afraid so. We are the worst house guests ever. Um, maybe we can set up in the family room over there? Yeah, cool. Who the hell is that? Yes, who? That's mom's psycho stalker ex-boyfriend. The thing inside Sarah made her, well... I'm gonna go tell Kat it's safe to come out now. I'm sure it was self-defense. And we should call the police and, and explain things. Yeah, that you have a possessed daughter. Actually, you might come in handy explaining the mess this house is going to turn into. OK. So, my briefing on the way in. Death mask. Old-timey serial killer, spirit in said mask. Jumps from the mask to this art collector, Stephen Guy to fake psychic. You forgot real estate agent. Right, sorry. To real estate agent, to fake psychic, to fake psychic's BFF, to this nice lady here, Griffin. Leslie. Griffin. Sort of a savant that can read minds. OK, Griffin. We're in your hands now. Because the current situation is that the spirit jumped from Leslie to Amanda here. Hi. And then from Amanda to her baby sister. Who's currently locked in the pantry. OK. This is the bastard that infected Stephen and then me and will help all of us looking for someone to control and manipulate. And who better? than an innocent. I'm gonna need my backpack. Now, before I can do my thing, can someone tuck the dead guy's hand under the cloth? It's, uh, distracting. Sarah, you know what you need to do. Yes, Papa? Kill them. Kill them all. Then we'll be together for... Keeping the spirit distracted can help us. No thanks, I'll stand. Okay. Right now, it needs to concentrate on the possession of Sarah. If it spends all of its energy moving objects, that's less energy it can spend on her. And it needs her. to bring more candles. Candles? We've got candles. No crucifix? No. Did that help you before? No. Yeah, no. What we're dealing with here is a spirit, probably 10th class of the third order. You guys have heard of spiritism, haven't you? OK, angels, right? First order. Demons, third order. Our guy, 
third order, 10th class. It's not good. Are you sure we don't need a crucifix? No, but we will need this. This death mask contains some of the skin and even some hair follicles of the child bride killer. It was through this mask the spirit was able to avoid crossing over and was able to leap to the first person that held it long enough or even press it up against their own face. Sounds like something Stephen would do. Then we can destroy the mask. Yes, preferably by burning it, right? Where's the fireplace? Victor doesn't have one. Would help with resale. Well, we can't do anything to it yet because the spirit is still with Sarah. <sighs> Obviously, we need to get the spirit to leap to the mask and then destroy it. It's definitely gonna work and it's gonna send it off, so. How do we get that thing away from my baby and back in the mask? I think by getting Sarah to touch the mask. You think? I touched her and look what happened. Okay, look, I've never encountered a revisiting entity before. Okay, so I don't know, but I think that if it comes into contact with its cellular essence, its own biological material, if you will, it should lead to it as a reflex. You think? Yeah, based on my experience, that's what I think. All right, pretty soon I'll need everybody to glove up. Griffin and I brought plenty. And once it's transferred, I just do a little incantation and that's, you know, that's it. You do a spell. Yeah. You know, I like recite a poem or a hymn or a chant. It doesn't really matter what you say, in my opinion. It's more about the, you know, rhythm, mantra. I usually just recite song lyrics from like Grateful Dead or Fish. Okay, guys, let's all, let's all relax, all right? Just uh, get comfortable, because we're gonna illuminate the home with candlelight and begin saging. Sage, like incense, it helps cleanse the home. Ghosts apparently hate it. Usually with a good smoke cleansing, you could get rid of the spirit, but best we can hope for now is that it weakens it. We'll have to disconnect the smoke alarms. Okay, guys. Pull plugs on TVs and table lamps, clear socket connections. Is he going to cut the power? No. Contrary to popular belief, they don't cut power. They increase it, and that blows bulbs. Man, it is pissed. Spirit's going to be slightly upset that we're doing this, but won't want to leave Sarah to fight us. Just keep going. Off to set more candles. Hog spray? Yeah, well, rattling the spirit's cage usually brings out cockroaches or spiders from behind the walls for some reason. Just trying to keep them at bay. Oh, great. Grab that blanket. Okay, put the sage right here. And yes, blankets right over there. Everybody bring it in. Okay, gloves. These are mine. Now these blankets are to throw on the kid when we let her out because she's gonna try to bite, kick, and scratch. You guys pin her down and then I'm gonna take her arm and force her to touch the mask. The entity should involuntarily leap into the mask 
and that's when we throw it into the fire. We still don't have a fireplace. Right, and that's when we throw it into the oven. Maybe I should preset the oven too. Cannot hurt you. Are they all off? <laughs> Shit. Okay. I am sick and tired. And you're... So much for it can't hurt you. Settle down, settle down. Sarah? Don't let her get out! I don't think she wants us to get out. Okay, now what we need to do is to get that 
Mask. To where the demons feast on rotten flesh of each and all, where the damned eternal crawl. Deep below the rotted earth, to the depths of Satan's girth. Go to hell, you ghastly beast. Go to hell, you ghastly beast. Go to hell, you ghastly beast. Are we dead? Let's go! School waits for no kid! Do I really have to take the bus? Why can't Amanda drive me? Because, no. Because she's going the opposite direction. You drive me, Mom. What have you got to do? I have research to do. Now go. Bye, Mom. Bye. I love you. Love you more. I saw this documentary on the world, Sick of Serial Killers, and your friend was mentioned. Duffy had a dozen child brides that he had killed, but one managed to escape, one that was pregnant with his child and vowed to send the child bride killer back to hell. Duffy's only known child, seen here in 1901, disappeared into obscurity, and it is not known if the Duffy bloodline ever continued.
Robbie, do you take Rosie to be your robot bride? And Rosie, you take Robbie, right? If you don't like it, speak now or forever hold your peace. That's what I thought. Now kissy kiss and off to the reception because now it's time to cut the cake. I guess you'll never figure it out. 